The M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System or simply HIMARS is a light multiple rocket system. HIMARS was developed in 1990s for the United States Army and mounted on a standard United States Army family of medium tactical vehicles truck, the HIMARS carries one pod with either six GMLRS rockets. It is based on the United States Army's FMTV 5-ton truck and is capable of launching all rockets. The need for HIMARS first came about in 1982, when the 9th Infantry Division saw the need to acquire a light multiple rocket launcher as a counterfire asset. But the requirement failed to gather support from the Field Artillery School and languished for a number of years. The institutional bias at the time was oriented towards heavy forces. However, with the waning of the Cold War and the growing interest in low-intensity operations, both Field Artillery School and Missile Command realized that the M270 MLRS was too heavy for rapid deployment and pushed for the funding of HIMARS. The HIMARS concept was tested on April 1991 at White Sands Missile Range, using a modified Honest John launcher. HIMARS was then developed as a private venture by Lockheed Martin Missiles and Fire Control to meet this requirement. The system first appeared publicly in 1993. Lockheed Martin delivered six HIMARS in late 2001 for Army evaluation. By early 2022, Lockheed Martin was producing HIMARS at a rate of 48 launchers annually, but following the start of the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine that rate was increased to 60. In October 2022 the company announced it would boost production to 96 systems annually in response to increased demand due to Russian Ukraine. On New Year's Day, Ukraine armed forces utilized Tamars to kill dozens and possibly hundreds of Russian soldiers within its borders. H over, Russian officials claimed that the strike killed 89 of its servicemen. This Himars attack is said to be Ukraine's deadliest attack on Russian forces, 